What is going on guys? Chubboy D1 Snipes here today. What we're doing is offense on Terrace, uh, 4v4 competitive uh, game strategy. Um, my theory is for all search and destroys is to try to get the bomb down as quickly as possible. Um, what you're going to do first is have, this is an A push, real basic sniper spot. What you're going to do is come up and you're wanting to just try and pick anybody. Like I said in the other video, I like running a thermal on this map of my snipers but this is a good spot right here I like this spot specifically because you cannot get picked from this oh. you can but it is very difficult to get picked from this roof so I like sitting just kinda back and you're just trying to stay alive until you get that bomb down uh, this is not your OBJ I just picked up the bomb <clears throat> but what you're doing is you're just looking for a pick and if you don't get it right away uh, you're coming and you're watching flank uh, this is a great spot for a uh, BAL sniper player overkill uh, you're watching the push from the middle from uh, B side and up top over here you're watching anybody that's flanking uh, another decent spot uh, this is where I like to send my second guy. I like to have two snipers on this map if you have them for your team. Quick jump right here, quick jump right here. Use the the slam to get here as quickly as possible. And this is just a sick, sick head glitch to pick off their sniper or to pick off anybody that's pushing or even pushing middle. Um, if you can communicate with this guy right here, say you pick that sniper, um, you may want him to watch the middle and then you can watch the flank from right here and then this guy you can also get a pick over here and watch the the mid push if you need to uh, usually teams won't do this on defense if they do they're ballsy as fuck and there's really nowhere for them to go down there anyways uh, they can kill from the middle but you have two guys watching that so uh, they really can't go anywhere they just end up on the flank same is like if you they just went B side so it's really not that big a deal um another kind of cool spot is if you have somebody head glitch in the bomb uh, you can hop up right here kill them uh, sometimes people lay like right there in that spot it's kind of a weird spot I know I've seen only a few people do it but it actually did work out for them so I would look out for that um, what you're gonna do with your OBJ and probably your main slayer because you need to pick up this first kill. Uh, if you decide that the defense is overloading A side, then you can uh, kind of have this guy looking over middle trying to get a pick, and then your OBJ is looking for a pick off the bomb or in this room. If he can get in this room before the defense, uh, he's got a pretty decent setup because you can. I mean, even though he's got a head glitch. <coughs> There's a good nade spot. I don't know what the fuck grenade that is. It's just a default class. But you can kind of both work together both on the inside and the outside with your slayer trying to get this first pick. Because if the defense does not send a guy down here, they suck and you will win this map anyway. But what you need to do is uh, just get that first pick. He'll probably be in this room or head glitching bomb or laying in this spot up here. Or he could even be behind this wall. You never know. Um, because they can get here quickly and they have the cover from behind there it's very difficult to figure out where this guy is over here but once you clear out these rooms uh, and you <clears throat> figure out where everybody's set up good laying spot down here uh, another good spot right here um, but what you want to do is uh, playing on this side you don't want anybody to kill you from that side of the map especially the you want your slayer to stay back over here if he can uh, for the simple reason that you don't want to get flanked and you want to control one side of the map now if you push out uh, sometimes you lose control of the map and people can find holes and get ninja defuses and even uh, <clears throat> get like within the bomb get closer to the bomb than you are and you don't have a line of sight a great spot to uh, to lay is right here uh, another great spot if I can get there I didn't think about this um, if you're last alive and maybe they've got two up another good spot to watch bomb is from like right here uh, you can watch the middle to see if they push and behind you and you have a great line of sight uh, 
to the bomb. Good job. Get ready for the next battle. <clears throat> Switching sides. Uh, now what we're going to be talking about is the B push. Um, what <clears throat> you're going to do with your best sniper is some people like to uh, jump up right here and try to get a pick on the guy that could be rushing or it could be back B. Uh, it, it's I don't like leaving myself up in the air so I don't really trust that a whole lot. I like to push up a little bit and kind of sneak a kill in here if I can hide behind this rock. And then if I can get over... I can check their building uh, as you guys like to know the thermal is great on this map <clears throat> you want to push two people up here uh, this sniper should be a BAL sniper and you want another OBJ guy you want him in this room you just want to clear this room out uh, you guys want to work this pick over here whoever they send um, what you don't really want to worry about is the middle what you're gonna have here is a guy kind of sitting back what he's gonna do is just play this kill right here or the middle whatever if they try to push you uh, and then if you can get that first pick and get pushed up a little bit uh, what you're gonna see is uh, you, this guy watching the middle and over here this is a this is a key spot us watching the middle because you can get if you can get that first pick on that left side uh, it's so much easier to get the bomb down and then as you're watching the middle uh, you can just kind of camp this corner and this is a pretty good spot to watch the middle and the uh, the flank from now another guy that you want maybe you want to push three up top and that's fine and that guy can usually watch it but another spot that I like is uh, just over here just kind of peeking this real quick uh, your job as the flanker guys to not die in case one or two of those guys goes down if you still have the bomb down you need to stay alive so that you can make a play on it and uh, get that shit to blow up or if you want to watch the flag from back here and push three guys that's fine uh, the goal with this B push I think is to get the bomb down as quickly as possible one thing you do need to worry about and the OBJ should be very very aware of is all that's behind you over here is just a wall uh, say if I'm on B side and I know you're playing the bomb this is a difficult bomb shot right here uh, doesn't matter who you are it's a difficult bomb, uh, like grenade kill but if a guy is down here watching middle all he's got to do is pop it up against that wall uh, land a grenade right on top of you if it's a frag so make sure if you pushing B uh, what you want to do is definitely run trophy if you can see a guy maybe double jump get down here put this thing down as quickly as possible have a guy watch you from the stairs right here you uh you want to stay down on this side of the map especially because of this rooftop uh head glitches down here will pick you off very very quickly so what you want to do is stay low uh play for those trades and trust your flank guys uh the b push is pretty pretty simple um if you can get here this is a good spot to watch the uh like a ninja defuse if someone just kind of tries to sneak up this staircase uh, you can pick up a lot of guys from this spot um, thank you guys for watching uh, that's all I have for you today on offense uh, if you like this video uh, please leave a comment on any suggestions that you guys have for uh, maps and game modes as I will be doing all of them but just to see what you guys want me to do first uh, if you liked the last uh, map <clears throat> riot the point of view that I did for each player their rush and then a short description of what they're doing rather than just running around the map and showing you uh, let me know which one you like more uh, these are better received so I keep doing these but if you guys like the POVs uh, I will do those it didn't take me that long to edit and everything so uh, whichever you guys like the most uh, please leave a like comment and subscribe uh, thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys on the next one